And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some unyielding arena. We got our first meme tier deck today. We're, we're going back with meme tier Tuesday as well. We had too many donation decks for just one meme tier Monday. So we got a bunch of more fun decks here today. This first one is a deck built around unyielding spirit and Nox Cryo arena. The um, combination of those two um, and trying to win with those. And so we're going to pair those. So, you know, Nox Cry Arena, of course, around and our strong, strongest ally and the weakest enemy fight each other. And so we're going to try to Unyielding Spirit, our strongest enemy, so that every turn, every round end, it's fighting something else. Um, but then, of course, it won't be able to take damage or die. So that's just going to work out well for us. Now, with our two champions with this deck, we're going to be going with Fiora and Garen. Both these cards are awesome with Nox Cry Arena. If we can get Fiora to be pretty big and protect it, um, obviously we want it just fighting every round end um, because once it kills four enemies, we just win the game. So we're going to have that combo in here. And then Garen has regeneration and is also pretty big. And so whenever Garen can be fighting weaker enemies and then just regenerate back. And plus it needs to strike twice to level up. So it, it will work towards uh, leveling Garen up and then we get to have more attacks and that's all pretty awesome also. All right, so with Fiora, Fiora is only a 3-3. So that's kind of a problem. So we need to make Fiora bigger. So we have uh, Laurent Blade Keeper in here that will be able to give Fiora plus two, plus two, make it a 5-5. Five, five. So that makes it a lot easier for it to be not only our strongest ally, but then also survive with the attacking. And then we also have Vanguard Bannerman uh, decide to go Bannerman route so that it will grant our other allies plus one, plus one. So we can grant Fiora plus one, plus one. And, and that's another way to grow Fiora. Besides that, we have two Repost and three sharp sight both of these we can play on our fiora and grow it before the round ends um you know like repose we can give it the plus three plus zero and now it'll have a barrier also and so then it will uh you know we can have it choose fiora even if we have something bigger in our deck though we only have two two cards that are actually bigger than fiora only garen and screeching dragon are bigger than Fiora in our deck. So Fiora is going to be one of our biggest, you know, one of our biggest things for the arena. Um, because even Bannerman is not bigger if we hit the Allegiance, because then it will make the Fiora a 4-4 and Bannerman will just be a 3-3. Uh let's see. So that's yep, that's kind of about it. And then so you know, hopefully unyielding spirit Fiora, grow it and have it kill stuff, or maybe unyielding spirit the Garen, or unyielding spirit the Screeching Dragon. Because Screeching Dragon is also pretty cool with the Nox Cry Arena with having the Fury. So each time the arena and the dragon, you know, the dragon fights something in the arena, the the dragon just grows. So that's also pretty cool. So we'll have we'll have that as well. All right, let's let's go play our five games. We're just playing them in normal because it's meme tier day. Um, this deck could probably be a ranked deck though. This deck looks pretty strong. I guess we'll have to really test it out and see how it goes. Looks like we got Zombie Ezreal for our first matchup. Let's see, we got Tracker, Protector, Bannerman, Sharpsight, this all looks good. I definitely like having Sharpsight be able to surprise Block and Ezreal. That's pretty good. And Love Unyielding Spirit. I don't think they're gonna have too many op too many ways to get rid of an Unyielding Spirit. We'll see if we get three drop here. Okay. Tracker. One drop, and then we keep sharp side available. That works out. I don't miss. No closer. So that works pretty well. No way. Now Bannerman the next turn. And then into Garen. Deck's looking good. Alright, so they have a Mystic Shot. We got They're down to eight. We have Fiora also. Oh. 
We're just gonna go Garen. Six mana. Hey, Gregorius Jerry with the tier one sub. Y'all get the hype votes in the chat. Thank you so much, Jerry. You are amazing. Thank you so much. It's our first sub of the day. I think I'll just let that happen. Good sharp sight. I'll just save the sharp sight. We'll play a Legion Drummer. Oh, maybe I should have kept the sharp side up, but good news is they aren't, um, they aren't killing my Garen with Thermogenic Beam. That's the good news. I still have this, I'll have eight mana for Unyielding Spear at this turn, so we're good there. So if they try Vengeance or Thermogenic Beam or something like that on Garen, we have Unyielding Spirit. Okay, I just have three mana. I don't think they can stop this from happening. All right, now we need our Noxcrya Arena. Play this first. Y'all are, y'all are awesome. Thank you. Okay, so they're just passing. So they're a harrowing deck. They may just play harrow like they could play harrowing on defense, but I wouldn't mind that nearly as much. This is going to force their hands to do something. Because, you know, Garen plus any two of these will kill them. Or, sorry, with either one of these two. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, Ruination isn't stopping Garen. Ugh, done a great job drawing those. So they gotta block Garen. They're doing that because they have 10 cards in hand. So they have to do that so they can draw a card. Okay, we got the arena to go along with our Garen. All right, GG's. We're gonna play our arena. We're gonna have Unyielding Arena. Hmm. So this is gonna be tough because they are one of the few decks still playing Hush. Hush is good against Unyielding Spirit. Um, I like Concerted Strike, and I kind of like Single Combat, but nothing, and nothing between turn one and turn four. Like, I like the Blade Keeper, even. Maybe we have to mulligan Single Combat. No, I don't really want to. You know what? We're gonna keep these, and we're gonna just draw two and three mana units. Okay, well, that's not really a unit, but... That's what we're gonna do. Especially like a Fiora. Fiora would be perfect to draw. Because then like turn two, we just save our mana for single combat and sharp sight. And then play Fiora on three. Okay. The spirit gives to those who listen. I'm just gonna pass. I am prepared. So we make our thing a 4-3. So if they have Pale Cascade, they do just trade two for two. We don't really want that. Got your back. They would trade, but then they would also draw a card. We each hold a world within. Protect and strike. 
I could see them going block, like here, like block Pale Cascade. I could see that happening. Your lesson begins. Called it. And so there's our sharp sight. Oh, another pill cascade. Gross. Man, that card's good. <laughs> Alright, well they had another pill cascade, I suppose. What is gained when we return malevolence? Good, Choo Choo. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, got got your money back from the flight that canceled. That's good. Glad to hear. Yeah, but they also, yeah, we did, we, that's true, they did spend more mana, but they also got, they got two free mana from the Attunes that went towards that, and then they also got two free cards off the Pale Cascades. So it wasn't as big of a help as it necessarily seemed. So my plan here is to play Bladekeeper first, and then next turn go, like, Tracker plus Bannerman, right? So, like, I want, I want more things in play before we Bannerman. Without a sound. Gross. Only the worthy survive. Good turn for them. Really wish I had one more mana. So I could have single combat available also. Soldiers, to me. I've already used multiple Pale Cascades, so hopefully they don't have any more. Hopefully this just works. Cool. Darkness. They could have had Hush. They would have saved their Zed. Hey, Fiora. Beware the dragon spirit. Pass. They play their spells. I'm probably going to need to concerted strike this turn. Our enemies cannot hide. Strike firmly. Center your spirit. Conflict is that just a regular resonating world. sonic wave? Yeah, that was just a regular sonic wave. You'd rather single combat between three and four. What does that mean? You'd rather have my five three and their four two single combat? And just leave their lease in alive? There's so many threes and fours out here. What does single combat between three and four mean? Okay, single combat between oh, single combat between the two three fours. And then and then these just trades, so then we just have single combat and then all four of these trade. They would kill my tracker. So basically, yeah, I could have, I could have used single combat and the tracker die instead of concerted strike die. I think I'd rather have concert. I think I'd rather have tracker plus single combat still moving forward than concerted strike. I'd rather have these two cards than the one card. Uh, double deep meditation, pretty awesome. But again, there's still a hush deck. Isn't great for my unyielding spirit. I don't know if they have the third pill cascade. Hopefully not. Okay, good. No. Zed's leveled up. Lee Sin's about to be leveled up. Discard hush. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Zenith Blade. They did discard a Nopify earlier. Looking into the future, I see purple. Purple. It's like an unyielding spirit and have single combat. 
I guess they're a deny deck too, though, aren't they? Aren't they? I guess I have to try to play around Deny. That's going to be really difficult. I like how we got them to use a Hush. When it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I could have gone for the win there. It's too bad it's just a mountain goat. I fight with the dragon's fury. Extend your senses. Yeah, this is just a this may not work out for me, will it? I guess I don't really think this through of what Lee Sin can do. Cause we can't. Because I can't keep things alive with Unyielding Spirit because of the, the whole Dragon's Rage thing. So basically what I need to do now is whatever they challenge in Dragon's Rage, I need to single combat to kill it. Okay, I was going to say, I thought they were going to have the Overwhelm card. No Overwhelm here. Prepare yourself. I'll see this through. Enter your spirit. Yep. Without overwhelm, this is just seven damage, which isn't so bad. Um, so I could still single combat these, and then I take no damage, and it gets rid of the the shield here. I think we got to do that. Yeah, my Fiora still dies. But that puts the onus on them. Like, where they're just. It seems like they're just trying to hold up Deny. This would put the onus on them to, to do something. Ah, they have Nopify and Deny. Protect us, Law. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. So I, I think I have to repost. Okay, so if I repost the 5-2 and they have Hush, and they Hush this, then my 3-3 three, three fights, my 3-3 three, three dies. Then we have the 5-2 again. I think that, yeah, that's that sounds good. I was trying to de de uh, determine between doing that or putting the repost over on the Bannerman and then having the Bannerman fight and then, and then Hush Bannerman. But then it would be my 5-2 dying. So we'll have the little 2-1 challenge over here, and they got to figure out a way to not take 10, 10 damage. I'm not sure what their, their kind of deck does to save this. Is all in the mind. There's Hush. Pill Cascade, that doesn't help. I'll see this through. They've already played two Guiding Touches. One Guiding Touch doesn't save them. All right, that'll do. Negative two. Two no. So I'm not sure. With them discarding that first Zenith Blade, it made it feel like they would probably have more Zenith Blades. Sejuani Misfortune. I think we just keep all of these. Flea Feather Tracker? Nope. But still, we have, you know, Drummer into Fiora into Bannerman. That sounds pretty good. And then we have some uh, protection for Fiora with Repost. Some more combat-oriented removal. Remember why we fight. Make it worth 
my while. They were just gonna challenge that the next turn. That's too bad, they're, they're two drop traded. No prey, no pay. Always two steps ahead. Guns blazing. Repose is not the best defensively. For the glory of Demacia. Against misfortune. I don't like that at all. Them nabbing two cards. I don't like that one bit. Yeah, the barriers don't work out defensively. With the bullets, but they will work out offensively. Safeguard our citizens. He started without me. Let's get to it. Okay, I think we block with the 4-2. I guess the 4-2 attacks for more. Alright, we'll block with the 3-3. Three, three. I guess, so they could have Rangers Resolve. Maybe I just block with the 4-2 to kind of play around Rangers Resolve. That's quite annoying. Considering going, so I think our two options, obviously our two options are either Sharp Sight and then these trade or single combat and have Bannerman trade with Misfortune. I guess it makes more sense to Sharp Sight. I kind of want to just use a single combat and save Sharp Sight for Fiora. Let's do that. Let's save Sharp Sight for healing Fiora. And we'll use single combat here. I think is like the chal the, the thing is is like the challenge is the same with Fiora challenging Jagged Butcher or Misfortune. Either one of those is the same. You're gonna go Sejuani this turn. You're covered. Yeah. To no one. That's the best card they could have. So that's why they have it. Um for my could cast the repost and then I'd be able to actually challenge and kill. Strike quickly, strike try me. In the name of our land. So they have three out of five for leveling up Sejuani. Looking for trouble. Good it's news, don't get to do that yet. Kind of need to kill this misfortune. Is that even more important than killing Sejuani? Yeah, I think y'all y'all are into uh, using on misfortune. Let's do that. They did cast a misfortune. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Cool, they missed. Say so they did cast a misfortune concerted strike just a little bit ago. The dead don't need riches. Or misfortune make it rain, sorry. No closer. Is this supposed to be Defend our banner? I guess I just kill them all. Too easy. This allows me to attack for 10 immediately. How can they? They can't really stop repose, can they? I don't think so. All right, they cannot. 
Keys. Another victory for House Laurent. I'll kill you, Harvey. Ooh, we got some dragons. Dragons. Do y'all think dragons play hush? What? I was just betting you. Yeah, no arena games yet. But that was a was a good Fiora game. Stop. Stop. Whenever I stop petting Harvey, she just starts clawing at, at my chair. That's all she wants in this world to be pet all the time. I'm gonna save Bright Steel Protector for later. I will put you down. Yeah, I think I think this could be a competitive deck in ranked. I think so. I think our deck's pretty strong. Me me me. Fused Firebond. Do I just play? Like I want to have a repost available. I guess I just play this. I don't know. Maybe I don't even play that. I just pass. Counter and strike. Precision and grace. Cool. I don't think that would work. Another repost. If only Fjord could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. I demand satisfaction. Um. Is this where I play Bright Seal Protector? No. I always I always consider not attacking whenever people pass like this, but it's it's only two mana. Me. I don't like this dragon fire emboldening you. Shape the skies and mold the earth. <laughs> Comboing off. Come hither, you beasts of glory. All right, everything costs zero. I get it. <laughs> well, that was pretty crazy. So many repose. I love it. Prepare for battle. As long as they don't play the card Aurelian Soul, I like our chances quite a bit. I think I'm going on Yielding Spirit this turn. I don't think they have Hush. So I'm just going to do this. <laughs> so easy. Get him, Fiora. Unyielding Fiora. I will cut you down. Try me. Harry, repose positive there. Alright, we attack in. So that's three kills for Fiora. We have Concerted Strike that can be kill number four. As long as they don't have like Bastion or something like that. I guess there's no rush. Got your back. I don't think there's any rush. I think I can do that next turn. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Oh no, we missed. Does that mean we get the arena? We have our unyielding arena. Oh no, it's Legion Drummer. Rats. I was gonna go for the unyielding arena kill with Repost. I was going to try it out. 
if, if that was Arena, like, I wouldn't play Concerted Strike. Alright, let's go Fjord's Repost with the Fiora. That's pretty cool. And there we go. We are 4 and 0. Oh. So that means we're taking it over to rank. Alright, so we are playing over in ranked for our fifth game. So we do with our meme tier Monday decks. Whenever we are 4 and 0, oh, we go play the fifth one over in ranked. And looks like we got Trundle Trindamir for our uh, for our game here. Hello. Definitely mulliganing single combat, and I think we'll keep the rest. Repose can be pretty important trading up to try to take down something like a Trundle. Um, matchup where we probably want Unyielding Spirit. They have like some Frostbite cards and things like that. But we want to try to get larger units and have Unyielding Spirit. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pass and keep Sharp Sight available. We're gonna play this Protégé. And so if they have Weirding Stones, I get to Sharp Sight to try to kill it. All right, so they're passing. So I, I probably just pass also, so they don't get to ramp. It costs me four damage. But them not ramping on turn three, so now they can't have Trundle on turn four. Slows them down it an entire turn. I think that's worth the four damage. What if Garen's champion spell was on Yielding Spirit? That'd be cool. You're covered. For justice, for Demacia. Ruination? Yeah, shouldn't have played that Bright Steel Protector. That was, that was great for them. Yeah, that was great. We fight for one Freljord. See, I would like them to attack here. Darn, they did not. I would like the. As I say, I would like them to make that attack. They attack, I use Sharp Sight. They block, I use Sharp Sight. Now I still have Unyielding Spirit up. Now they Vengeance, and I use Unyielding Spirit, and I save it. Let's go. Alright, so we got Unyielding Spirit, Garen. This would have been better if that was the whole thing, if they would have attacked on their turn and I did that. And then it attacked here, so then I would have had leveled up Garen, and I would have had the attack token, but we'll still take this. Raise the banner. Lift our Possibly I should just wait a turn on Bannerman. To see, like, what we draw. <clears throat> yeah, I wish I would have waited a turn on Bannerman. Um, why not play Fiora first? I don't really have a good reason why not to play Fiora first. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. I guess I just let that happen. And I'll just unyielding spirit over here as well. While we're at it. We do what oh god! Oh, we know that <clears throat> they don't have, like, the mana to really respond. No, so, yeah, this only obliterates followers, not champions. A good bannerman draw. So now I can repost. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's actually 
take this down to Paradise City. So they're at three. Before they start playing these 08s to block. They have to go Vengeance. Oh, they, they could have Frostbite cards. Don't have Frostbite cards, it's annoying. Nothing's tougher than a troll. They sound like a commercial, a car commercial. Nothing's tougher than a troll. So my negative three. That'll do. All right, that'll do. GG's five and O. Oh. No Unyielding spirit with uh, Fiora and Garen, both awesome. I think this could be a pretty good Unyielding Spirit metagame these days with, with people not playing nearly as much Hush. Um, you know, you know, with after the Hush nerf. Um, lots and lots of damage things, you know, like lots of like Bilgewater Noxus, it's all about damage. That deck's all about damage. You know, there's there's like Ionia with Lee Sin, that Lee Sin has the, the Dragon's Rage ability that can bounce. But there's really not, like nobody plays the card Will of Ionia. And not very much hush so overall not many people have like ways to get rid of an unyielding spirit once it's in play you know you have like your, some things like tom kench swallowing like there's some there's some corner case scenarios of some ways that people can get rid of unyielding spirit but not that many and um, we saw that with these games unyielding spirit with fiora was um, awesome, and then Unyielding Spirit with Garen, also very good. Unfortunately, we didn't really get the arena down, and didn't get to do cool things with the arena with that, with us being the Unyielding Arena um, deck. But, um, uh, yeah, but the Unyielding Spirit was pretty awesome. Hey, Spidey, hey, GG's, yeah. <laughs> the two Unyielding, yeah, that's why I wanted to play three. I think this this card's just really good these days, and so that's why I wanted to play the full the full three of them. All right, uh, but anyway, that's it here for Unyielding Arena. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.